Omuntu wali kola mili mujo oyamba de ID twamba do jacket oli na vayo na kuba batuni mumanyi batuni ya military we inzo kuva ku mubiri batuni ya military inzo kuva ku mubiri tukoze echi tuziza musango chifa ba midi journalism is among the professions you can hint at global level and their roles are different but they contribute to the development of the country democracy implementation rule of law practice among others according to Uganda Journalists Association they have more than 1000 journalists registered across the country but there are those who are not registered with it besides members of this profession suffering from human rights violation from security agencies like police. I have no apology. Actually, you are saying, is the police apologizing for mishandling journalists? My answer is, is I'm very sorry, excuse me, we shall not apologize. It's not that we, we are targeting the media, no. We are trying to protect your lives. We are telling you there's a danger there. For you, you are insisting you must go where there's a danger. Yes, we, we shall beat you for your own sake. To help you understand that don't go there. UPDF, among others, and even government officials like Judiciary, RDC, and others, but they also face the economic challenges during their practice, whereby some of them are paid less than a dollar, equivalent to 3,500 Uganda shillings a month. And the question remains how do these people survive in their deliveries? And the answer is not easily identifiable. The struggle for the financial support within the media industry has been witnessed and according to the COVID-19 report done by Uganda Journalists Association, many of their members and non-registered journalists across the country ran to them for assistance. And as of now, there are those who are laid off in the first lockdown haven't reported back to their stations. In the same line, those who are back on duty haven't received their full pay yet and the day for normal working can't be estimated. But we have talked to different persons, including government, journalists and policymakers, towards the solution to the vice of poor pay or no pay to journalists. And according to Sekan a young journalist in the field said that the government intervention is needed which will enable all the persons involved in the industry to gain from their sweats. This includes the government to instill the minimum wage, among others. The government, the stakeholders, the media houses, the government, 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 the same line, we talked to veteran journalists, who is the National Unity Platform spokesperson and the Nakao West MP, Joel Senyonyi, who attributed all the going-ons in the industry to journalists' disunity and even journalists not knowing their value of that profession. Journalists need to know their value and once you get to know your value, you will fight for that value. You will fight to see that you are paid a good salary. You will fight to see that you are not your rights are not violated. Like has been happening, security operatives, they beat up journalists. After they've beaten you up, they call you, play some little soccer, and then everything is okay. No, 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 no. You need to put your foot down and fight to say, no, we know what our value is. We shall fight to see that that value is respected. Nevertheless, the Minister for Information, ICT and National Guidance, Dr. Chris Vanyomosi, generalized the problem to the wider workforce, not only the journalism profession, whereby there is need for minimum wage across the country. The labor laws which we have are not strong enough. Like we have not passed the law of minimum wage. So we shall address it, but in the context of the wider labor environment. But through, we shall engage the media owners and the media practitioners to see that it becomes a, a fair deal for you to work for the media. I know, yes, there is that exploitation, but I think through engagement and the way necessary and possible, through legislation, we should be able to address those concerns. 
but the Secretary General of Ugandans Association, Chirunda Emmanuel, posted the blame on the government's failure to monitor the industry, including the, the proprietors of different media houses. Uh, we need all journalists, as journalists, uh, to say that enough is enough, rise up and demand what we believe uh, belongs to us. Which, you know, provide for uh, provisions uh, uh, demanding an employer to, uh, you see, uh, contract workers formally, treat them reasonably and fairly as a worker, as a labor. I mean, we, we, we are seeing these laws are in place, but also uh, the spirit of having them bite seems also not to be there. So as we demand for the president to assent to those legislations uh, that were passed by parliament, like the minimum wage bill, we also request that uh, the authorities that are responsible rose up to enforce these laws. Media industry in Uganda is categorized into three areas, including broadcast that covers radio and televisions, print that covers newspapers, and online. More than 200 radio stations are registered, and close to 70 TV stations are registered, whereas online platforms, they are going beyond 500. For the case of the print media, about 12 newspapers are in circulation. Yes, uh, Chigongo. Channel 44 Prime News.